Hello guys, today let's reverse the dissolve effect to make a respawn effect, just like the example in the level. Okay, let's create an Agra system and select GPU scene. Add a spawn rate in emitter update. The value is 50,000. Then let's change spirit size, uniform, and the default value is 10. Okay. Now we need to set particles start position and end position. The start position we can use a ship location. It's a sphere. Okay. Then we add an upward offset of Z axis. So we can get an effect of emitting particles from top to bottom. 500. Let's see it in the level. Okay. Then we need to create two vector parameters. First is start position. This parameter is the position of our sphere. So let's find sphere position. Then we need an end position. This position is sample charter position. We can add a skeletal mesh location. This module can output a sample charter position. Let's set a preview mesh. And we use surface triangle. Okay, now we get a sample charter position. Let's create another vector parameter. Set the value to sampled position. Finally, we use start position as particle position. Then in particle update, we need a linear force. Here we need to give it a multiply by float. Vector we need a subtract. Use end position subtract particle position. That is the position of the skeletal mesh minus the current particle position. This will get a force in the direction from the current particle position to the sampled skeletal mesh position. Also space is word. And float, we need a curve, 0 to 1. Scale curve, we can set it to 10. So the actual range is 0 to 10. Then we add a curl noise force. Noise strength also a curl. 1 to 0. And the scale curl is 500. Noise frequency is 25. And we use pan noise field. 1, 0 0.5, 1. Then we add a vertex force. Also, we use curve as force amount. 1 to 0. Scale curve, we set it to 2000. Vertex axis, we need a make vector. Here, we need a uniform AOB float. And we need a bool as width. Make custom float from bool. And we need a random bool. In this way, when each particle is spawned, a random bool will be made. If the output value is true, that is 1. If it's false, the axis will be negative 1. So we can get two different directions, just like in the preview. We can copy this node to other axes. Okay, we get this effect. Then we add a drag. Drag value is 3. And we need an acceleration force. 
just like vertex falls we need make vector and say axis we don't need it two directions so add a curve and the scale curve is 1000 other axis we can use boo copy curve and multiply scale curve a is 1000 and b is boo y axis is same copy these expressions okay now we can see this effect pretty good but there are still some particles below the floor so let's set accelerations say axis 1500 okay then let's set emitters left cycle self once loop duration is fine then let's add a scale speed size 0 to 1 to 0 add a key data 0.9 and value is 0.5 then we add another emitter to make the effect of particles flying also we use skeletal mesh location and other settings is same spread size we can make it smaller maybe three and left time is random mean is 1 max is 1.5 and we need to make this emitter spawn when the particles merge so we can use loop delay and the value is 5.5 and this emitter's spread size is 3 2 okay it looks better now let's change charter's material we need a set material attributes add a opacity mask and the material function dissolve edge this material function we created in previous video then we need a material parameter collection to control the parameter add a collection parameter select the parameter mask and the texture we can use a noise texture save the material okay we can see it work in the level blueprint let's add a timeline to control parameter two key data is zero zero and three one okay then add a lerp a is zero b is one and we need a set scalar parameter value to control material parameter collection let's play oh the charter is already here it's a mistake we need a delay in level blueprint this time should be longer let's see the negra system at this point almost 12 should be fine that means we need to delay 12 seconds let's see yes pretty good okay that's all for this video hope you enjoyed bye